we're making keto strawberry shortcake and it's just two total carbs. Let's go. So delicious. This keto strawberry shortcake by Keto Brawn just melts in your mouth. It's so good you can eat it all on its own and it's going to taste like a soft biscuit. But of course we will be taking it to the next level using a filling of whipped cream and sliced strawberries and of course we cannot forget powdered sweetness sprinkled all over our lovely shortcake. Hi, I'm Mel and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please do take a look around at our other recipes and if you love what you see, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new recipe. A little more about this recipe, it serves 12. For just your biscuit, it is one total carb and one net carb and if you add the filling, it is two carbs total and neat. It's a really lovely snack or you can even have it as a dessert. I also show you the result when using different oven trays, you know, silicone or metal. The ingredient list with measurements and nutritional information is listed in the description box. Set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius and let's get into the recipe. To a bowl add one and a half cups of almond flour. If you need weight measurements they are listed in the description box. A pinch of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix that all together until it's fully combined. If you're using a stand mixer attach your paddle attachment. Add four tablespoons of butter at room temperature to a bowl and three quarter cups of powdered sweetener. And mix until light and fluffy. You may need to scrape down the sides of the bowl to give it a good mix. Do make sure there's no powdered sweetener left at the bottom of your bowl and then you know that your little batter is ready. A teaspoon of vanilla and 113 grams of cream cheese at room temperature. Mix again and scrape down the sides of the bowl if you need to as well. We're adding two eggs at room temperature, mixing in between. Add your dry ingredients and give it a final mix. I'm using a large nozzle with a pretty design and you're going to see what that's going to achieve. Set up your piping bag. Add your batter to your bag. Generously grease a donut pan or a bundt pan with butter. The reason is your shortcake has a tendency to stick in your pan, so give it a good greasing. This is how your strawberry shortcake is going to turn out using a bundt pan or a donut pan. If you don't have a donut pan, this is how they're going to turn out, and it just looks like a thick biscuit. It's not a deal breaker, you can still enjoy strawberry shortcake. Just want to let you know what to expect. If you're using a donut pan like I am, this batter will make a total of 12 strawberry shortcake. Now I baked mine for nine minutes and if you want yours as soft as mine you'd go for nine but there's no harm in you doing ten and I wouldn't recommend going over that so nine to ten minutes is the safest. Once you've removed it from the oven allow it to completely cool in the pan. 
then run a knife or a spatula around just to help loosen it up. I've loosened that one already, but you can see it actually, it actually is quite easy to do. And then remove it. And they are beautifully soft. Whoa, that one was gonna break. <laughs> I also tried baking it in a silicone muffin tray and you'll see that mine has very pretty designs on it. And it's actually much easier to remove because the silicone allows you to just remove it without using a knife. And here you can see the difference between using silicone or metal. Slice them in half. This is what they look like on the inside. Really soft. Add a layer of strawberries. And this amount of strawberries are not quite a full strawberry. It's about two thirds of a strawberry. But it, you'll get some in every bite. And some sweetened heavy cream. I am adding another layer of strawberries to equate to one strawberry, but if you want to lower the carb count, you would just do one layer of strawberries, not two. And finally, dust with powdered sweetener. Now I can safely say that this recipe is so easy to make. My non-cooking husband could make it. Why? I have nothing to do with this. Leave me out of it. Focus, Mel. So I really hope that you guys enjoy the recipe and you love the strawberry cake and you enjoy your keto diet. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well. See, you're so busy throwing me under the bus. You're doing three yourself off. No, I was good.